Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to start your new lesson of EVS that is traffic rules. So children, you might have heard this word very frequently. That is traffic rules, isn't it? So first, let us know what is the traffic traffic rule. What is the meaning of traffic rules? So the traffic rules are the rules given by the traffic police for the protection or for the safe driving which can prevent accidents okay so this is traffic rules so children here in this lesson we are going to study about traffic rules so children can you see these pictures here yes so here who is standing in the middle of the road yes who is standing in the middle of the road he is a traffic policeman you might have seen him right so he is a traffic policeman so it is a place where four road meets here you can see where the uh, traffic police is standing he is standing in a circle circle means what it is a place where four road meets here you can see there are four roads which meet here so this is called the circle where the traffic police is standing isn't it so uh, in the dharwad jubilee circle you might have heard right so this is a circle where four roads meet okay so now the question may come in your mind why standing like this what is the duty of this a uh, traffic policeman so the traffic policeman he controls the movement of people and vehicles in his duty so what is the duty of the traffic policeman he controls the movement of people and the vehicles so that we can avoid the accidents okay so next one is here children suppose you want to cross the road okay suppose you want to cross the road so how shall you cross the road now yes if you want to cross the road how shall we cross the road we should cross the road at zebra crossing we have to cross the road on zebra crossing so what is the zebra crossing where is it so this is called the zebra crossing can you see this yes so this is called the zebra crossing white strips in the middle of the road the white strips yes so these white strips are called zebra crossings why it is called zebra crossing because it looks like a strips on the zebra here you can see the zebra is having a strips right the white strips and the black so it is looks like a zebra so that is why it is called the zebra crossing and the pedestrians pedestrians means the people who walk on foot so the people who walk on foot so that those are called pedestrians means if you are walking on the road you will become pedestrian okay so the pedestrians or the people should cross the road only at the zebra crossing you have to cross the road only on on the zebra crossing you are not supposed to cross the road in middle wherever you want it will not safe for you okay you have to cross the road on zebra crossing understood children okay traffic signal lights so children you might have seen this traffic signal lights isn't it of course you are aware generally we find it in the circles where roads meet isn't it so children so this is called this traffic signal lights so here you can see it is having three colors red yellow and green why it is having this three colors what is the uh, main function of these three colors let us see so here these lights give a specific instructions to the movement of vehicles okay so these lights it give a specific instructions to the movement of the vehicle so while you are driving you should be very careful you should have your attention towards the traffic signal lights okay so the red color this red light it indicates to stop means this red color it indicates you to stop you have to stop you are not supposed to cross the road because the um, vehicles are moving okay red means the vehicles are moving so you have to stop yourself okay next one this yellow color 
this yellow color light it in indicates to get ready okay so this yellow light it indicates to get ready means next step is that the vehicles are going to stop you have to just get ready yourself next is when there is a green light it indicates to move so when there is a green light you can move yourself on where at the zebra crossing you have to cross the road at the zebra crossing you might have seen that if the vehicles are coming okay so if there is a green color light they will stop here you can see in the picture they have stopped the vehicles will stop when there is a green light means you can move easily on the zebra crossing understood so children here we should not cross the road when ro when red light is on we should not cross the road when the red light is on why should we why shouldn't we cross the road when the red light is on because the red light represent what the vehicles are moving you have to stop yourself okay so another signal light is there for pedestrians to cross the road okay which light it is the green light very good so the green light is when the green light is on then we can cross the road on zebra crossing when the green light is on then we can cross the road on zebra crossing because the when there is a green light the vehicles will stop themselves okay so this is about the traffic lights so now let us see what is the importance of traffic signal lights so traffic lights are there in circles to avoid accidents between the vehicles or between the vehicles and pedestrians and for the safe movement of vehicles and people so what is the first main importance of the traffic signal so in the to avoid the accidents to avoid the accidents between vehicles and vehicles and between vehicles and the pedestrians means people is yes, for the safe movement of vehicles and people both and the next thing is we can protect several other lives to by our responsible driving okay so because of the traffic signal lights we can protect several other lives to by our responsible driving so the number of dogs uh, the some other animals you might have seen in the tv or in the you might have heard in the radio or you might have um, read in the newspaper that the number of animals they will die because of the road accidents right so because of this traffic signals we can reduce this reduce the accidents we can decrease the accidents okay so this is the importance of traffic lights now children here you are having one activity okay so here some traffic signals are given in the a column and their instructions are given in the b column now you have to match them by drawing a line okay so first one here if you find such kind of symbol if you find this kind of symbol the first one it means what it is looking like a what you only tell me children it's looking like a track right railway track isn't it so means if you find such kind of signal it means if railway level crossing gate is open and then move okay so it means there is a traffic if there is a track there is a railway track you have to be very careful next one is if you find such kind of symbol means what if you find such kind of signal means it represents there is a hospital zone so you have to go slow okay if you find such kind of uh, signal it means there is a harms ahead so drive slowly okay next one if you find such kind of symbol it means you have to turn left means there is a no uh, way towards the right you have to move left if there is a such kind of uh, symbol means you have to turn right because there is a no way towards the left okay next one if you find such kind of symbol or the um, signal means it means what do not horn do not horn because there may be a some school or some institutions okay next one if you find such kind of uh, signal it means there is a parking place there is a parking area for your vehicle okay next one is this symbol it represents to go slowly okay these all are the signals and here are the instructions okay children 
here is a list of traffic rules that a pedestrian should follow if it is right put right mark and if it is wrong put right wrong mark and correct it okay here are the some uh, instruction traffic rules that a pedestrian means a people who walk on the road they must follow okay if it is correct then you have to put a right mark if it is wrong you have to put a wrong mark in the wrong column if the statement is wrong you have to make it correct here okay so the first one is cross the road at zebra crossing yes or no we have to cross the road at only zebra crossing means it is right you have to put a right here next if there are no signal lights you can cross the road even while the vehicles are moving to your left and right so see here if there are no suppose if there are no signal lights you can cross the road wherever you want yes can you cross the road can you cross the road no you cannot right so there may be a risk of accident so it is wrong you should be very careful the next one is you can cross the railway level crossing even if the train is passing can you cross the uh, ro uh, can you cross the track if the uh, rail uh, train is passing on the track can you cross no no it is highly impossible can you no means it is wrong we cannot right next one is you should not play games on the road children you are not supposed to play games on the road if suddenly if any vehicle comes with a more speed what will happen you may face the some accidents isn't it so it is not a safe thing to play on the road next one is you can board a moving vehicle or alight from it so you can board a moving vehicle or alight alight from it board in the sense what entry of the passenger onto the vehicle can you board the moving vehicle or you alight from it no you cannot is yes. first you have to wait till the bus or your vehicle stop then you have to board or you have to alight okay next one is follow the queue while boarding a vehicle so queue in the sense what it's a line of people right so you have to follow the queue while you are boarding the vehicle yes or no yes next one is pedestrian should walk on the side of the road where you have to walk if you are walking on the main road where you are going to walk your do you go um, you will go and uh, walk on the main road on the middle of the road no you have to yes you have to walk on the side of the road so is it correct or wrong yes it is correct isn't it so this is the activity you have to be very careful understood children so the next one is here is a, some interesting facts about the lesson traffic rule let us see which are those first one is bus day has been celebrated in bangalore to avoid traffic jams to save fuel and to avoid air pollution on that day many people having own vehicles travel by bus a bus day okay bus day has been celebrated in bangalore why to avoid the traffic jams to avoid the traffic jams to and to save the fuel and to avoid the air pollution okay and on that day on the bus day a uh, many people who are having their own vehicles though they will travel by the bus okay next one is transport department celebrates road safety week okay so transport department celebrates road safety week in january every year so the transport department it is a transport we are having a transport department okay so the transport department they celebrates road safety week in january every year okay the next is in cities transport department gives training to school students on traffic rules so in cities in the some schools the traffic depart uh, sorry the transport department they give a training to the school students on a traffic rules how how they have to follow the rules what are the rules are there okay they will uh make them to understand okay by giving them a training next one is when road accidents happen free ambulance vehicle bearing number 108 has been provided in our state for taking the affected to hospitals for emergency treatment so children you might have uh heard this news that when road accident accidents are happened we are having a free ambulance facility if you call the number 108 you will get the free ambulance there okay they will take the patients to the hospitals for the emergency treatment okay so these are the facts about traffic rules 
so children in this lesson you have learned what is traffic rules and how we have to follow it and uh, then what you have learned in this lesson then traffic signal lights and what are the indications of red yellow and green signal lights and what is zebra crossing isn't it and you have learned some of the signals yes so hope you understood all the lesson very well children okay